hello beautiful it is a beautiful weekend here in the las vegas area as you could see on our walk this morning the sun is shining there's blue skies but we're starting to feel fall because the temperatures are starting to dip a little bit today we're supposed to have a high of 90 which probably feels hot to you but it feels pretty great i'm not gonna lie so today i'm just taking you along for a day in the life it is a typical saturday here last weekend we had kind of a crazy weekend because my parents flew from out of town to come stay with us for four days and we had so much fun you can definitely go check out instagram to i made a reel of our time at gilcrease orchard you guys it was absolutely beautiful there we had so much fun and you just made so many great memories i'm just so grateful for that time we got to spend with my parents and that my kids will have that video to look back on and just remember this awesome weekend. So I hope you do go check that out. But because we had a full blessed weekend last weekend and because Halloween is coming up and therefore the next couple weekends are looking just packed, we decided to just take this weekend and relax, enjoy each other's company and just make sure we're all caught up on house stuff just so that things keep flowing smoothly throughout the week. So that's what we're up to today on the docket today i need to get out on my patio and clean it we had monsoon weather a couple weeks back and i just never really got back out there to do the cleaning that it needed but anytime we have a monsoon here and it rains as you can imagine there's a lot of dust in vegas so all that dust just rained down right onto my patio so the kids pool is really gross the rug has lots of bugs that like died and got trapped under it Ooh. <laughs> And our patio furniture just really needs a good scrubbing. So that is one thing I need to get done today. Also, I have been majorly slacking in the Halloween decoration area. Typically, as soon as the kids go back to school and we hit like September 1st, I am on it and I get all the decorations up. But if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know we've had some major car issues. I won't go into the whole saga now, but there is a highlight saved under Instagram so you can get the whole story but long story short we didn't have a car for three weeks just made my life a little extra chaotic and i had to cut out anything that just like wasn't necessary to our family functioning and that included halloween decoration as sad as that may be so today we're really hoping that we can finally get those halloween decorations up have some super grandiose ideas up in this little head we'll see if my husband can help me pull it off because honestly without his miracle work it is never gonna happen but i am hopeful other than that it's just gonna be basically just normal day-to-day -day stuff making sure our house is clean that we're caught up on our laundry and i would really really like to go through our kids toy bins and just kind of minimize what we have i just feel like they look so full and they're overflowing and it's just become complicated for them to find what they're looking for and to put stuff away and i'm just really feeling convicted and pulled to a more minimalist lifestyle the older i get the more i realize that just the amount of stuff that we are managing just adds to my stress level and i just really long to simplify my life in that way and that's that's just like an easy thing that i feel like i'm not going to be super emotionally attached to things and i can let them go really easily so i feel like that's a good starting point oh and we've talked about maybe having some friends over for dinner i'm not really sure if that's going to happen but um if we do i'll at least let you in on the prep for that oh and my kids have told me that I need to do another batch of breakfast burritos to put in the freezer. It just makes mornings go so much smoother on school days when we have breakfast prepared that you just need a nuke in the microwave. So that's all the stuff I would like to get done. Let's see what actually happens today. But regardless, I'm so thankful that I get to spend some time with you and that you're just here to spend the day with me. So let's get going.
before cleaning, I find it totally acceptable to reward myself with some coffee. So today I'm sharing with you how to make my apple crisp iced oat milk latte with Javi Coffee Concentrate. Don't let the steps fool you, it's actually quite simple. I start off with a scoop or two of my apple cider fruit spread. At the bottom of my glass, and pour in just a little bit of oat milk to soften it up a bit. Otherwise, you'll just have a glob of fruit spread at the bottom of your glass instead of it intermingling with the rest of your beverage. Top it off with all the ice your heart desires. In a separate glass, pour one to two teaspoons of your Javi coffee concentrate into a glass of water and mix. I use two teaspoons because I love a stronger coffee flavor. In a third glass, yes, you'll get a few dishes dirty here, but it's worth it, I promise. Pour in your oat milk to froth. I'm adding in a splash of cinnamon dairy-free creamer because I'm obsessed. With a handheld frother, I just whip that baby up. Because it's dairy-free, it takes a minute, so feel free to dance around or sing a song past the time. It most definitely helps. And then, this is my favorite part, slowly pour your frothy, dairy-free mixture in circles over your ice cream and top with a little cinnamon, if you so desire. With your straw, mix all that goodness around and take a slow, savory sip. Mmm, so good, right? No, seriously, this is probably the most fun I've had with my coffee in a while. I'm usually fairly predictable, but I've had a blast switching things up a bit. If you are an iced coffee lover in particular, I think you'll love the convenience and flavor of the Javi Coffee Concentrate. I think this is going to be a definite must on our next road trip. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box to find out how to get a bottle in your hands ASAP. So while I'm sipping on my delicious apple crisp latte, I wanted to give you an update on the Halloween decorating situation. This is as far as I've got. Posy Bones is out here doing her friendly wave, a little pillow blanket and some fresh pumpkins. But I've got some pretty grandiose plans like I mentioned before for this young lady. And I'm curious if my husband can help me pull it off. So what I would love is to see Posy suspended from the ceiling flying a witch's broom with a hat and a cape flowing behind her. But I don't know if the best place for it is here in this little nook because it won't be super visible from the street or if I should have her behind this window so that you can see it. We play around and figure out what's gonna work best this year. What are you guys doing? Kels? What you doing, bro? Javi. Davina, Davina, what's mommy got? Peekaboo. Mm. <laughs> boo. Boo. <laughs> You're so cute. Boo. Boo, 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 boo. Daddy, get you a yummy snack? Boo. Boo. Mm. Can you say num num? So cute. You had a burp? Yeah. A uh, loud yeah, one. I'll try your doing now, okay? Yeah. People kiss mom.
get to how we decorating today. Maybe tomorrow, but we're getting some good car washing done, right? Are you guys daddy's big helper? chicken on the barbecue and we're gonna sit out in the alley and enjoy it with our neighbors and I will pick this up for part two tomorrow so go ahead and stay tuned <laughs> <laughs>